Hello, this is Skywarp's Hangar, and today we have Fire Drive and Autobot Hot Rod. Uh, Fire Drive, of course, the head, Hot Rod is the body. Uh, this is from the Titans Return Transformers Generations line. Uh, really happy to get him. He did come in a package, which is a bubble protector. You can see mine was crushed. Thank you, Walmart. He ran, I guess, ran right around $15. Um, he has the package just like everybody else picture of him which is kind of cool I like the fact that they uh, change out figures for each or pictures for each figure which that's kind of nice um, and then on the back uh, something I miss with uh, with these uh, Titans return is it doesn't have a write-up on the specific figure um, but nonetheless there's a little bit of a write-up on the Titan masters as a whole which they Rinse and repeat with each figure. You can see some artwork, some other figures you can get. Optimus Prime, Six Shot, and Break Away. Which, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as far as Hot Rod goes, um, really cool figure. Cool. I like the paint detail in the chest. I like the paint detail on the uh, uh, abdomen there. He's got the wings on the back, got his pipes going on his hands and on his back of his legs, which is iconic. And they got the paint apps for uh, the shoulders, which that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, very nicely done. I like I like the look of this figure. I like uh, the head mold on it. Uh, he does come with his weapons. Oh, he also comes with a baseball card. Yeah. And he does have his stats on the back. It is pretty neat. Um, comes with his guns. Which you can take. And um, you can do something with them. You can put them together. You just kind of... Uh, uh, kind of go down like that. And you can see there's a clip here. And then... There's a tab here and tab here, so you kind of bend it just like so, so it's at an angle, and just kind of clip them together. Then you have your, I guess, little ship thing, or a double gun, which that's kind of cool. I mean, his head comes off, and he's taking that. Transform him. It's really cool details on him. We're gonna take a closer look. Let's see if we can get some light over there. Put some light on this subject. Right. And of course, just like all of them, uh, his legs are attached at uh, at the bottom here. So you do get some articulation, just like the rest of them. Um, get articulation at the arm and then you have articulation at the head thank goodness this one is much tighter uh, than the highbrow that I just got recently the, the highbrow he had some loose joints on him uh, but this one is tightened up thank goodness but yeah you just take him sit him down and you just put him in here and he kind of man he doesn't stick in there too well <laughs> Some of them do better than others. I, oh, lit, lit. Maybe I was doing something wrong? Nope. Nope. Nah. He doesn't stick in there too well. Some of them do. Some of them don't. Most of them do. Most of them have the little leg peg thing that... Yeah. But anyways. But that's a little added play to your hot rod if you were to get him. Well, on to our articulation of... Hot Rod himself. <laughs> His ears move. No. Uh, you get a turn uh, left and right. Uh, just like all the figures you see. Well, oh, goodness. I took his head off. Uh, yeah. uh, he doesn't get much up and down, looking up and down movement because of, well, it is what it is. Uh, but he does turn his head from right to left, which that's pretty cool. Um, his shoulders have a joint due to transformation where you can kind of put them up that high 
and you go down that low. Um, his shoulders can go up that high. You can do a 360 wind up and really the fin doesn't get in the way. You just have to back it out of there. Uh, he does have an elbow joint which goes up at a 90 and there's also a swivel right there. Uh, now the hand it only has that joint. So that's due to transformation. He does have a waist swivel and that is due to transformation as well. He can do the Van Dam. Kick up about that high, he goes back about ooh, that far before things start to stop themselves. He has a swivel at the thigh and his knees go up to about a 90 before they stop. Uh, the foot, it has a little bit of movement there, but not a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, on to transformation. The first thing you're going to want to do is turn those hands in and straighten out the elbows. You'll hear it clip because uh, there's a little tab right here that clips down into the elbow area. Then, pull these out. Pull the back of the legs out, turn them, just like so. Turn his waist around. Pull those feet into his shins. Take the head off. <laughs> Ooh, how did I forget that? All right, pull that up and pull that forward, and you got his hood. Then you just kind of get your finger in here to pull the bumper forward. And then you have two pegs, one here and one here that kind of clip into the shoulder. And you just move that joint up and then I just kind of configure his legs into the I guess what would be the wrist area. Turn this around. Drop it, drop it, drop it low. And then the fins have a clip that go into uh, the back of the leg part, the rear fender. Uh, and then you have, yeah, 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 it's hot, Roger. Yeah. Now, of course, his cockpit can open just like uh, I think every one of the Titans Returns figures, and you can fit the driver inside, which I think that is awesome. I really do. I, I love the Diaclones. Uh, I only had one back in the day. My brother had two, I think. But anyways, I like that aspect. That added a lot of playability to my Transformers. Uh, little Diaclone figures. But yeah, it fits inside the cockpit. looks good. I like the clear glass on the uh, translucent plastic. I guess it's kind of transparent. A little bit transparent, uh, but I love the uh, I love the shade of blue they used. I love like how it's uh, you can see in there to see the driver. I love that it's a nice added touch. I like the headlights, love the yeah. This is definitely Rodimus. He rolls well too. Some Transformers, you know, you don't you don't get them to roll well. One thing I did notice is cockpit doesn't seem to go all the way down, and maybe it's just mine I'm not sure maybe I have a misconfigured or something of that nature but uh, I don't want to force anything but yeah he seems to have a little bit of a gap here which I'm not really too bothered by uh, you could take the gun it does fit in the hood just like so and I think that looks absolutely ridiculous so I probably never do that again um, but if you want to you can have that there. 
or you can peg these down into, oh, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> Have the clip dragging on the ground, you can peg them into his front fender there and Yeah, you can have guns coming off of the side there, which is kind of cool. It doesn't really hinder his rolling at all. Um, would have been nice if they could have fit this under here somehow, but I guess, yeah, you know. Maybe make it look like a motor. But nonetheless, that's petty complaints. It's a really good figure. I definitely recommend it. Seems like um, since... The first wave of Titans Return, they've uh, kind of gotten stuff together and uh, made them better. They seem to be get, getting better as they go along, uh, which I think it's kind of ridiculous that the first wave had loosey-goosey joints. I can understand on the head because that's a new thing that they hadn't really done before other than Brainstorm. But some things like loose leg joints kind of bother me because they've been doing them for years. But... That is our review, and if you like our review, please click the like, and please subscribe to our page to see more reviews from us. Thank you, Walmart. He ran, I guess, ran right around $15. Um, he has the package just like everybody else. Picture of him, which is kind of cool. I like the fact that they uh, change out figures for each, or pictures for each figure, which that's kind of nice. Um, and then on the back, uh, something I miss with... Hello, this is Skywarp's Hangar, and today we have Fire Drive and Autobot Hot Rod. Uh, Fire Drive, of course, is the head, Hot Rod is the body. Uh, this is from the Titans Return Transformers Generations line. Uh, really happy to get him. He did come in a package, which is a bubble protector. You can see mine was crushed. Uh, with these uh, Titans Return, is it doesn't have a write-up on the specific figure. Um, but nonetheless, there's a little bit of a write-up on the Titan Masters as a whole, which they rinse and repeat with each figure. You can see some artwork, some other figures you can get, Optimus Prime, Six Shot, and Break Away. Which, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as far as Hot Rod goes, um, really cool figure. Cool. I like the paint detail in the chest. Like the paint detail on the uh, uh, abdomen there. He's got the wings on the back. Got his pipes going on his hands and on his back of his legs, which is iconic. And they got the paint apps for uh, the shoulders, which that's pretty cool, pretty cool. Yeah, very nicely done. I like I like the look of this figure. I like uh, the head mold on it. Um, 